Hello viewers! In this tutorial I will demonstrate you how you can set up um, a Kodi media center in connection with a DVB T receiver. So you can watch television, live television in your Kodi media center. What you need of course is your hardware. In my case I have a USB a DVB T receiver and it is attached to my to my laptop. So in general we have a DVB T receiver for the TV signals. In this video we only demonstrate how you can get the free to air channels. There are also encrypted channels but for the purpose of this tutorial we are showing you how to get the free to air channels. Then two main things what needs to be installed. You need a TV headend server installed and we have to set up that server. This server actually uh, receives all the channels from from your receiver and make makes it possible for clients to to use uh, the, the, the channels. At the other hand you have of course your Kodi uh, media center and uh, you need also install a client there and I will also show you how to set up that client. So the hardware part you can find a lot of information on linuxtv.org. So I have attached a, a receiver and with this command ls usb you can see which um, yeah, type and model you have. ls usb. So you, what you find here is my type and model of DVB-T receiver. In my case I didn't have uh, firmware. So in my case I have to find uh, the correct firmware to, to get my receiver working. After some uh, searching on the internet I found this website where I can download my firmware. So if we start up this website you see here my firmware which I needed to install. And install is basically download this file and put it in this directory. If you can see ls my dvb firmwares you see here the same file name which I have downloaded here. So this is in my case. If you have another another card or another uh, model, you yeah, have to, to search for the correct firmware. Now we should check if it's all working. And there is a command to see if, if it's all working correctly. It is done with a small program w underscore scan. If you don't have it uh, on your system you have to install it first and then you can use it. What it basically does, it has two parameters. Uh, the first one is uh, find all uh, dvb-t um, receivers, this is a type, and m uh, dash c and then your country. I'm living in the Netherlands so I have to put this in my command. If I do here a paste and you get something like this. It will start scanning your your device as you can see. Um, I will interrupt this this procedure. If you don't get the scanning part running there is something wrong. So you have no connection with your 
with your receiver. So this should be should be scanning and running. Then it's okay. So I interrupt this procedure. So now we got the hardware up and running. We got our firmware. Uh, it's working. Now we go to the following part. We will set up a TV, TV head-end server. This is a software which is needed to, sc yeah, to scan your device and to get a list of all TV channels. Also a lot of information you can find it on tvheadend.org. Um, you need to add a repository. In my case I have a Linux Mint system and um, it's not uh, by default uh, installed, so you need first add a repository. You can find it here. Here you find all information how to set up the repository. This is make it a li little little bigger. Uh, you need to add this repository to your your system and it can be found in your in your settings sorry software sources and addition additional repositories here you can see it tv headend as you can see this is the url the setting you have to copy it here to make it to make it working if you have added your repository you can do an install of your TV head and first of all do an update if you have installed it it should be um, ma made active by sudo apt-get update and in this case you have to install the software let me show you how you do it As I said, I have already installed it, so it's not needed anymore. If you have installed it, it will ask you for a, a username and a password for, for the, the, the backend. I used Cody Cody, but you can also leave, leave it blank. It's up to you. For now, for the purpose, I have to start my, uh, my server. Normally it will start automatically but I have switched it off servers start TV head no TV head and start so now it's started your your server is is now up and running. As I said, the password part is mentioned here. Now you can go to the settings of your of your server. Go to um, the website, your local local website on your machine is 127.0.0.1, and then uh, port number 9981. As I said, I have to um, authenticate with Cody Cody. So 
Next part, install your, your server. As I said, go to this web address in your in your browser. We go to the configuration tab. Now we have to uh, add our receiver here. You can click on DVB inputs and hit here your your receiver. Um, this should be enabled. If it is not enabled, hit hit that button or or uh, check this this uh, checkbox. And now you have to add your location. I'm in the Netherlands, so so it's for your country. Add DVB network and all settings leave it as is and click save. As I said it, it will take now a while to get all all running um, so I have it uh, done already before but I will show you how you can uh, install all the, the, the remaining parts. So if you have attached your, your adapter it will take a while, but after some time you get a list similar like this one, depending of course on your country and your settings. And after a while you get a whole list of the, ho the, the, the channels which can be received. As you see there are a lot of ones which are encrypted, so we cannot see them. We only can see the unencrypted, so free-to-air channels. Um, I already enabled them and you need to uh, make a convenient channel name. So you, for each individual channel you have to make a convenient channel name. And if you are done, you can um, hit this this uh, button map selected so you now you're mapping all all your channel names to a convenient list which can be used for for the clients if you go to the channel and electronic program guide you find here all your mapped channel names and what I also did I, I made some icons to make it uh, nice in, 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 in your clients but thi this, this list is now available for your clients now we go to the client part